but you know when employers say i'll keep your cv on file i actually don't know why because never in my life never in my life have i ever heard an employer come back to me and like yo you applied for this job six months ago we kept it on file and we just thought that's never happened people hi it is the next day and my face is cracking as we speak i've just washed it i'm getting ready to go to church i just wanted to quickly use this eye mask it is hydro hyaluronic acid and orange juice eye sheet mask i don't know how long you have to leave it because my face is so dry and i don't think i can leave my face for so long 15 minutes, bro, I don't have 15 minutes. My face will fall off by that point. Okay, I'm going to cream round my eyes, like round my face, I mean, and then like not like miss my eyes. This is very difficult. Look, I've already got it on my eye. I don't think it matters. I just wanted to like kind of wake my eyes up a little bit. It's quarter to 10, so I don't have to leave till about half 10. Um, so yeah, I just thought I'd throw some eye sheet mask masks on my eyes before going to church i didn't to be fair i didn't get in that late yesterday i think i laid my head down at like 11 pm so it wasn't even too late but you know when the cocktails are cocktailing bro. <laughs> the cocktails were cocktailing anyway but yeah last night was really good yo this eye mask is juicy just started throwing out juice Ooh. Should have got a tissue first. This ain't good. It's so wet. Oh, that's horrible. You know what? I don't like putting anything near my eye. Huh. That is so cold. Huh. Oh, oh. Right, I don't want to put it too close to my eye because. Uh, is that what it's supposed to look like? These don't wake up my eyes, I'll be fuming. I wonder if you have to wash this off. Because I've literally just washed my face. <gasps> it's so cold. I don't know if it's like underneath my eye properly like enough. Oh my gosh. I can't do this, bruv. I can't do this. It's not... I feel like one's higher than the other. Right? Okay. Let me just get it situated. 15 minutes on the clock. <laughs> this looks so weird. Moisturize bomb. Eye sheet mask. Visibly reduce eye bags and brighten under eyes. So it's exactly 9.45, so I can take these off at 10, which is good. You just get one pair of patches and that's it. So I guess I just sit here now. I don't know, I could do my hair. My hair's a mess. I could probably do my hair in this time. Um, but anyways, I wanted to tell you why good people don't exist. I was watching this video. I've watched a couple now. Um, and it's on the YouTube channel, Trend Central. Uh, the first one was about a guy and a girl. Well, both of them are about a guy and a girl. But anyways, the guy brought the girl onto the show to tell her that even though he values her the most throughout their relationship, they're not together anymore, but throughout their relationship he valued her the most, even though he did, he was also sleeping with about 20 other women at the same time for the three and a half year relationship they were in. And um, he was telling her about everything that went on and why he's the way he is and blah 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 and close to the end he says obviously after watching it you'd feel disgusted honestly you'd feel so disgusted and then at the end he goes i just wanted to let you know because i don't want you to think i'm a bad person and you're like what like what do you mean you don't want me to think you're a bad person so him saying that means he thinks he's a good person so that's example one secondly 
another video comes out, a man and a woman, similar. But the man, what the man does, he gets people pregnant and then moves on with his life. So he just goes around spreading his seed, children come in, he don't really see them or pay for them, in and out of prison, on the road. And uh, yeah, basically, don't treat anyone with any respect, don't really care for the kids, turn up when he turns up when he wants or doesn't, whatever. And then throughout that, throughout their conversation, so she's telling him how much of a pig he is basically and how he don't know anything about, this is only one of the baby mothers, she's like, you don't know anything about my our daughter and blah 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 um, and then in the middle of the conversation he goes so do you actually think I'm a bad person and it's like what <laughs> like so what I'm trying to say is there's a scripture in the Bible that says no one is good but God I never really understood it when I first heard it but as time went on and I was watching human nature because I like human nature. Human nature tells me everything I need to know about humans. Forget what comes out of your mouth, it's irrelevant. Human nature shows me who you are, who people are generally. And human nature tells me that no matter what you do, you always think you're a good person. You could go to prison and I could probably bet you all my money that I don't have that the people in prison will tell you yes. I am a good person. So that's why I don't believe good people exist because no one actually thinks they're a bad person. Do you understand? So people are moving mad. It don't even have to be wild, but let's just say people are moving mad and they don't even think they're a good person, right? I mean, they don't think they're a bad person. And then let's say you're not a criminal, but you lie, you steal, you cheat, you gossip, you think bad thoughts, you cuss, period. You do any of that? You're not a good person. You may do good things, but that doesn't round you up to be a good person. Have you ever heard the quote, true innocence is ashamed of nothing? So if there's anything in your life that you feel you cannot share, why is that? Because you're not innocent, because you did something that wasn't good. So you cannot be an all-rounded good person person yes you can do good things but you could never be a good person and i know you're thinking oh it's just lying lying is small it's still bad to deceive someone is not a good thing it's irrelevant of what the lie is about whether it's a white lie a green lie a pink lie a blue lie a lie is a lie period because you are deceiving someone you're saying to the other person look i think you're an idiot so i'm gonna lie to you because i think you're stupid bruv that's not a nice thing to do it's not nice at all. So yeah, I just don't believe good people exist. I don't want to tell you. I believe there's a lot of people that I know that do good things. But I could never be like, oh, that is a good person. Because I don't know everything about someone to be like they're a good person. And even the people I know, I actually don't believe they're good. Because there's something in their life that they must do, including myself, that would that is bad. Whether that is just bad thoughts, or lies, or gossiping, or talking bad about someone behind their back. None of these things are good. I don't want to tell you, but that's just my view on people. <laughs> Basically, it's also the view on myself. I don't think I'm a good person. To be good, you have to be ashamed of nothing. Do you understand? And this things, I can't come on here and tell you guys about. Even if it's five years ago, it doesn't matter. It's, it's still something I did bad, which is hard for me to be like, yeah, I'm an all-rounded good person. How? How? You know what I mean? It's always good to do good things and try to be a better person but you cannot be perfect only God is perfect only Jesus is perfect so that's why good people can't exist because if you were all around good you would be all around perfect which we all know is not possible so that's just my spew this early in the morning while the alcohol runs out of my system <laughs> just thought to let you know love just thought to let you know my stance on the uh, what I think about humans. Um, anyways, look at this. That's what the gummy professional has left in my hair. And it's weird because when I first started using it, it didn't leave bits. But I think it's because I've started to use more and more. And I think the more you use, the more residue will be left in your hair. But it doesn't matter because when I get home from church today, I'm going to be washing my hair. So when I actually use gummy professional, uh, where is it? Just in case you don't know what I'm talking about. Just 
Gummy Professional right here. So when I actually use Gummy Professional, I tend to use it a few days or a week before I wash my hair. So then, you know, I don't have all this stuff in. Um, so I was supposed to wash my hair last weekend, but because I was so busy, I didn't even get a chance. I didn't even get a chance to wash my hair. I'm gonna do my hair now for church, and then when I get home, I'll probably edit a video, and then I will work out, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed I'll work out, and then I'll wash my hair, because I take a shower while I wash my hair. I wash my hair in the shower. So that's why I prefer to <coughs> work out first um, and then wash my hair and then um, I'll probably style it tomorrow morning before I leave the house because I'm not really going anywhere, I don't have any appointments so I'm just going to see my fiance so I can take my time so I can just wake up, probably post a video or whatever and then style my hair then off I go for the day. Oh, I feel like I haven't given you an update for a while on how things are going with the wedding planning. So, in regards to that, I basically booked all my vendors. I can say that proudly. The only thing that we need to buy are wedding bands, but we're not doing that until like closer to the day. We've also booked our honeymoon which is so exciting. So basically, I wanted to go to Bali in Indonesia because I watched a film probably like three, four years ago now and I didn't really care for the film. I probably would never watch it again. But the only thing I remember about the film is that the person in it went to Bali and I thought, this is such a beautiful place. I never even heard of it before I watched that film. I'm not even gonna lie. Never even heard of it. Um, and so from that time, I've kind of been obsessed with Bali, but we're not going to Bali because to get into Bali at this moment in time, you need to have a vaccine. And um, you know, I'm not anti-vax, but I'm not getting a vaccine. <laughs> so I allowed my fiance to choose where we can go for our honeymoon and then hopefully somewhere later down the line we can go to Bali. Oh also another thing we haven't booked yet is the night of our wedding. So we're staying in a hotel with the rest of my family and stuff the evening before which is cool but we don't know where we want to stay the night after. My fiance, to be fair, me as well, we don't really want to stay in the same place that our family and friends are staying at. Like, I don't know, we just want to go somewhere else. But we haven't booked anywhere yet, so we'll see. We'll see. Okay, I think it's time for these eye patches to come off. Ooh, that felt nice. For some reason, I thought there'd be dirt on it or something. Ooh, that feels so good. Does my eyes look more awake now? I definitely need to use one of those on the morning of my wedding. Even though my wedding is very late, it's like 3 p.m. It's very late in the day, but it'd still be nice to kind of like open, like not open your eyes, but like make your eyes feel like more awake. Cause like, they do feel like more awake. Like it feels really good. Oh yeah, I'm a fan. I'm a fan. Putting it on was weird. I didn't really like that. It felt really jelly. Ugh, it felt gross, but now, after it's been on for a while, it actually doesn't feel too too bad, and then when you take it off, oh, it just feels so good. <laughs> so, so good. You can see all the white in my hair from the Gummy Professional, but it's fine. It's fine. It's all good. I'm gonna wash my hair soon. Anyways, continuing the wedding stuff this weekend we're planning on properly writing out the guest list and then sending out invitations and also I'm gonna put together like a bridesmaid um, group chat I don't know if I told you that I finished appointing my bridesmaids 
but I've finished appointing my bridesmaids. If you've been chosen for the position, you know, congratulations. If you weren't chosen, maybe there'll be a future, you know, opening. I will keep your CV on file. You know, I'm joking. But you know when employers say, I'll keep your CV on file? I actually don't know why, because never in my life, never in my life have I ever heard an employer come back to me and like, yo, you applied for this job six months ago. We kept it on file and we just thought, and that's never happened. <laughs> Said by no one ever. Um, but anyways, I'll probably do that this weekend, make a group chat. So then the bridesmaids um, can all start like putting ideas of dresses and hairstyles and shoes, blah, blah, blah. So that will be really cute and really fun. So, yeah. <laughs> Okay, I've got my hairpiece on now. Right, I am gonna love you and leave you. It is five past ten, so I need to leave in about 20 minutes. I thought I could have breakfast, but I don't think that's happening because I don't think I've got any milk to go with my Weetabix. So I'm probably gonna go starving today. Love that for me. <laughs> love that for me. Anyways, guys, I will see you soon. I don't know if I'll see you this weekend, but I will see you soon. Well, it is the weekend, but anyways. <laughs> see you later.